Hey Parker, so it's gonna be a Friday when you're watching this. Uh, I have finals on Friday, so this is a video pre-recorded because, uh, yeah. This is gonna be like a little mini rant because I am so sick of like literally every book series being a trilogy now. Like I completely get that like it is the perfect amount of books, you have a couple without it being like three million like or 13 like lemony snicket but for some reason like I love that because 13 and it just it went with the theme of a series of unfortunate events because 13's an unfortunate number. But I think like American writing culture if that's a thing we've sort of lost the art of like the standalone novel. Or maybe we lost it and now we're coming back because now that I think about it a couple of really great standalone novels have come out like Perks of Being a Wallflower and Speak and all of John Green's books. And honestly everything I write has gone into it being like the idea of this would be a standalone book because I don't have the attention span to plan for a series. But honestly, it's gotten to the point sometimes where, like, a, a trilogy will turn me off. It's like, I've read too many trilogies, and, like, now when I see something that isn't a trilogy, like Game of Thrones, where it's five, hopefully soon, six books, or I can't even think of any others. I guess Harry Potter? But I didn't pick up Harry Potter recently, though, so whoops. But I just, I feel like we're so oversaturated with trilogies and that probably just has a lot to do with like you know three being the holy trinity it's such a prevalent number it's my favorite number i don't know why i'm the one complaining about having series of threes one other minor thing that i'm just slightly annoyed with or actually you know what i'm not even slightly annoyed with it let's do it more i want more covers of girls in pretty dresses not looking at the camera because God knows we don't have enough of these. I'm, I'm not calling out this book in particular, it's Torment by Lauren Kate and I actually really love it, but it was just like the first one I saw and grabbed that I knew had a girl in a ball gown on the cover. That might be a theme with her books in general though. In fact, I sort of feel like there's only two types of... three... there's only really two types of teen girl romance YA covers, and it's girl with a ball gown, not typically not looking at the camera or extreme close face up. And that makes me a little bit sad. Like come on, I, I know that this is this tells you what you're getting into, but there are so many really good graphic designers out there or just like fans with Photoshop and I feel like we can surpass this. And so Parker, that's just my little talk for today. Uh, give me a little bit more variety in my book covers and I will be a very happy person. It's like I get that this the, the girl in the dress tells me what I'm getting into but just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. That's all I have today. Like I said, I'm taking a final so uh, gross. Hopefully I passed. But anyway Parker, DFTBA, stay super.